Hello, in this video I'm going to show you exactly how you can uh, install the OpenGL 3 Division wrapper and how you can make all the shaders be rendered in 3D and I'm talking about the famous Zeus pack for ultra realistic shaders so at the moment as you can see I'm running Minecraft in 2D in the standard way basically nothing uh, 3D vision doesn't kick in and no stereoscopic rendering is being done so the first thing that anyone must do before actually installing the wrapper is to install the shader modes and here on the NVIDIA forums I actually put a description and a link exactly in the beginning I expect of the of the post how you can add the shader mode to Minecraft so before you do anything else watch this video and install all the mods required then you go on my website open gl to division wrapper game fixes using this wrapper and you will find three distinct things first one is the actual open gel wrapper now uh, Minecraft is a Java game and based on what operating system you have or what Java version you have installed it can run either the 32-bit or the 64-bit in my case I know it's running on Java 64 so I'm going to download this wrapper um, here in the last icon where I put sales pack to division converter tutorial this will actually link to this video which I'm recording right now so this is where you can find it and here I also added Minecraft Seo Shader to Division Converter which is the tool that I'm going to show in a couple of seconds so first thing I'm going to install the wrapper I already have the visual C++ redistributables installed so there is no need to do that okay everything installed correctly now if I start the game again it's already starting in with 3D vision you can see the 3D vision discover here in this video and the game now should render in 3D before actually we're going to play oh come on don't do that as you can see in this image we have the duplicate image for left and right eye by but no, no shaders are currently being rendered in stereoscopic because we need to go to option shaders and select mic shaders and now you can see <coughs> basically mic created, uh, created this special type of shaders which emulate or render the same as the vanilla game so they look exactly the same as you can see here everything is perfectly in 3D um, right so if you want to use the famous Seuss pack or shader pack first we need to download this tool the Minecraft sales shader to division converter tool by clicking this link I already have it on the desktop it's exactly here and it comes the the actual tool and the, the readme file which you can read and explains quite a little something so we're going to start the tool the, the tool basically looks like this so the most important thing is first we want to read the instructions and the instructions say to download the CU shader pack from I put the actual uh, path or web website in there you can just mark it like that like up like uh, that I guess 
right click and it's in the so now if you do it like this you can paste it directly which will take you there so yeah this is the sales pack here we find the download locations so after we download it, I, uh, I, I still recommend for best performance the normal version, not the ultra version. So afterwards you need to extract from the zip ar archive the shaders folder. We need to put it near this executable. We run this tool and we select the number 2 option, which I'm going to show in a second. And etc, etc. I'm going to show rather than read this part. So back, we select the standard here we need to wait Hi. for this so I'm not sure how away. you arrived at the site or who recommended it uh, yeah so after this ad goes away you skip ad there and I accept and download and you download the pack and now it looks exactly like this so we extract the whole folder we put it here we run the tool again convert, we select option 2, convert sales shader pack, we hit enter and it says the same thing again we press continue and we see all the shaders that are converted to stereo TD and J division basically <coughs> so now we hit 3 to quit all the shaders are already converted so we still have WinRAR in my case open, I just drag it back in the same shader pack so I'm basically archiving or copying back the modified shaders so with this one done I just need to copy it so let's see showing folder so it's exactly this one so with this one I need to copy and go to application data Minecraft shader packs I copy it here and I have it there now I'm going to do up the same thing with the ultra pack with depth of field again we need to wait uh, come on and again we need to wait for the ad to go away skip ad here in the top right corner we get to this page, we download I go here, show in folder I copy it from here again I put it here in minecraft folder shader packs I open it yes uh, okay I can close that one I open it I, I'm back in the tools folder I delete that shader folder I copy the new one from the archive I run the tool again convert and everything is converted if for some reason you try to convert it the same uh, uh, the second time it will not work because it's already converted so now since we have the shaders converted I select them copy back in the archive yes I want them back and I can close the archive so now I start the game again game starts, play, play, like before you see Mike's version of the shader, the standard shaders, options, shaders and we see the new shader packs, the CU shader packs, I select the standard one and you can immediately see the new shader pack working, this is the standard one Uh, one second I want to put the music on off 
for the purpose of this video and as you can see the shadows might not be so high quality so you can select the ultra version come on with the depth of field and immediately you see better quality in the shadows but notice also a loss in performance so the reason I recommend using the standard version is to performance so this is what you can expect one thing I, I note I need to notice and I already said in the wrapper readme file is that you need to run the game in window mode otherwise it will not work that's because the engine is very weird and it starts in window mode and then switches to full screen and unfortunately the way uh, Nvidia's DirectX OpenGL to DirectX interoperability layer works it doesn't allow that switching or I can't make it happen so you need to run it in, uh, in uh, window mode rather than full screen so that's about it <laughs> that's what you need to do so again you can find on my website this video will be referenced here under CU spec 3D vision com converter tutorial and the, the co actual converter will be here hope you enjoy it and happy minecrafting